Hello everybody, thanks for joining us today um, for our usual stream, but it's a little bit unusual because we're not doing lawn, which is very unusual. Um, but I did put it to a vote, um, and it seems that having a little break from talking about all things lawn is um, maybe something cool. So um, we're going to do um, the Jim Roush interrogation. Um which I think should be kind of interesting, really, because he's kind of he's he's, he's a very um, very popular predator. This guy's. He's, I, I've always struggled saying popular predator and liked predator. It's kind of a contradiction in terms, isn't it? We have like a favourite monster, but I suppose it's like having a favourite villain in a way, isn't it? Um, but the, the the strange thing about this guy, if I'm right, uh, and I'm joined by a full contingency this week, which is cool. Um, didn't he never make the show? He no. did not make the show. No. It was he a was different there. sting. Sorry. It was a different sting with Perverted Justice. It wasn't Dateline. Right. That was the previous April. The previous... Yeah, uh, the sting with Dateline was in October. And this was the previous April. I read that somewhere. Um... But it's so great. It can. I, it would have been great if Chris got his hands on him. <laughs> um, yeah, it's. Um, you just let us know in the chat, everybody, if everything's all right with the audio, so we can avoid one of my usual um, technical mishaps. Um, but yeah, he's. He's. It, it's. I think. He's kind of a. I mean, we'll, we'll this will get highlighted as we go through the interview. His character will come into uh, the. Uh, this character will be shown in uh, all of his uh, crazy mutterings, shall we say? Um, but he kind of everybody, everybody like everybody does have. He's many people's favorite predator, isn't he? I think. Yeah, well, I his interrogations Tiffany... pretty pretty out there. Yeah. So he he says a lot of shit. He's definitely quotable, just like Lorne is. You said he was your second favorite, right? I, um, I would not. probably say so. As far yeah, as mine too. as far as entertainment is concerned, because it is funny the shit that he says, and you know, as we go through the interrogation, we'll we'll obviously hear all of that. But the way he says it, his his facial expressions are epic. <laughs> so you can pause at any moment and have a great face. It's really funny. <laughs> it, you, something now, occurred to me. He... Go on, mate. Sorry. Di didn't he pee his pants? I On the trip over. My... He... Well, he got it all over. Well, he stuff, didn't but... pee it. Yeah. He, he went into a, a liquor store <laughs> and he... <laughs> That part he, was hilarious. He passed. Yeah, it was really funny. And he, he got it on himself. You know, oh, he shit. He's trying to hold a phone at the same time. Oh, <laughs> shit, I got it all over me. Oh, God. So he's sitting there <laughs> being interrogated by the police in wet pants. Piss drunk. Literally piss drunk. That's amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. like well, I, the ultimate I, embarrassment. It's a little bit symbolic, almost like Lorne's hat falling off. It's like your hat's fallen off, that's covered up your that you used to cover up your baldness, and you 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 stand in, you sit in an interrogation room, and you piss your pants. It's kind of yeah, like well, I, he didn't he pissed his pants like an hour before the yeah, interrogation. Yeah, but they're still going to be wet, and even if they're dry, I don't know I that don't... loss of dignity that you must be feeling, or you, at least I hope <laughs> that you were, would still be with well, you. And you'll Again, always remember that time when you was in the police interrogation room getting your balls busted with wet underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was more on the outside because it was when he was pissing in a toilet that he got it all over himself because he was trying to juggle the phone. So it wasn't like he pissed his pants, you know, with them zippered up and everything. So mm -hmm. the moisture would have been on the outside. Or I can't believe we're even talking about this. <laughs> but my guess is I think the conversations is, are going to get probably, stranger, dude. It probably dry. Yeah. I, I would imagine, but that was the least of his problems. We could all agree on that. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> exactly. It's like one of the only few <laughs> situations where you've pissed your pants and that's the least of your problems. <laughs> Uh, well, look at his mustache. It's like perfectly about... straight. I was just thinking yeah, it's that. Like a broom. I don't know about favorite, but he definitely has the best mustache. Yeah. He definitely trimmed that night before the date. Yes. Yeah, he, he sure to... did. But that is a <laughs> that's a nice broom he's got going there. Yeah, and he's got like um. <laughs> You know he's wearing a decent leather. I'm 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 a bit of a sucker for leather jackets. I um, spend a lot of money on such, and uh, maybe that's his way of dressing for the occasion. Um, <laughs> Polish. But he wore it to the swim. Yeah, I, I mean, mm, but anyway, um, it doesn't really matter now because he's dressing for the uh, interrogation cameras. But. Um, I've, I've, I did videos on these on, I think it was my old channel, because I think I re-uploaded them. Um, and it's been so long ago, I can't remember. I, re I can remember the end bit that made me laugh, which I don't want to do because there'll be spoilers, but I just remember him sort of not making any sense and him just being drunk. Um, <laughs> and we don't really get... Um, speaking of which, do we ever remember any drunk predators? I remember a couple that were high, like, I'm so dirty. I'll tell you what's dirty is this conversation. He was, like, high or something, <laughs> wasn't he? Um, Myrick was, too. That's right. Yes. So, I wonder if Alonzo yeah. Wade was. He, I don't know if he could have <laughs> He could have waited, you know? I don't know if he could have waited. came to party. <laughs> Somebody said that in the chat earlier. <laughs> so you think he waited to party? Yeah, I don't know how he could do that with that booze just sitting right there. Because it was a long drive for him, right? So I have uh, no idea. I don't remember. I think he probably grabbed a couple of singles or something. But nobody was like, this guy was all over the road. You know, I'm going to travel over here. You know, or get this guy's on my ass. Or, oh, shit, I almost went off the road. He said those things during this whole, the course of the drive. This guy was shit-faced. Mm -hmm. Um. There is something I've got to bring up, and Saul is in the chat, and he did uh, mention this. It's something I was wondering. Is this guy still with us on this earth? I heard a rumor that he'd passed away. We heard that too, but I think Joey did. I Joey heard a rumor to... too. Oh, yeah, I don't know straight. if it's. I don't know if it's confirmed all the way. No obituary. But I, I could have no just missed record. it. Yeah. Right. He, he yeah, could be put sure. away in a home or something, for all we know. Well, it wouldn't be... Is that a scare on his face there? It mm -hmm. is. Hmm. That was explained, too, it's... by the way, in, uh, I think it was Joey's video again. Right. He, that was from a car accident when he was a child. Right. Oh, was that? Okay. Yeah. I thought it might have it's been like something more sinister. And also... Car. It, it's also interesting to know that his father was shot in the back, like he said in this thing, but he he was shot in the back as an aggressor to a crime, uh, you know, and I think it was like a sexual related crime. Joey, if you're here, straighten that out. But his father was a piece of shit. Uh, and he was like 22. He was really young when he got shot. Wow. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of good information, background information on this guy. Interesting. Well, I'm sure we're, yeah. um, maybe we could do like a, well, I'll say we could do a follow-up video. It'll probably take us about 20 episodes to get through this. So, without further ado, uh, let us get going. Um, guys in the chat, if there's any issues with the audio or anything like that, let us know. And you guys as well, uh, my friends here, if you can't see or hear anything, let me know. I don't want to fumble on unnecessarily. Anyway, let's get going. So you just were out driving? No, no, I don't want to admit, admit that. Okay. I will not admit that I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> the cracker already. We're only fucking seven seconds in. Seven seconds. He wouldn't confirm he was it's driving. Total opposite. It's the total opposite of what he's going to present. He's going to release his whole life, but he's making it sound like he's going to deny everything right now. Right? <laughs> so that's not a good start for the police. They think, oh, shit. Did you come up to see, see somebody today? Uh, somebody invited me to come over. Okay. <laughs> I love the expression on his face <laughs> so to come over. <laughs> like an overemphasis on... It is a typical 
drunk, annoying person, isn't it? But he's also coming across like, if you sort of detract the sexual he, um, element from it, the insidious nature of that, it, it almost come across as quite a lovable rogue in a way, but uh, probably because it's quite humorous. Oh, who was that? Oh. Cheyenne something. How'd you meet? Uh, how'd you meet Cheyenne? I was on- online. Came up. Okay. Um, when you were online, do you do that at home, or do you? I do it at home. You do it at home. Okay. Yes. Do you- I can almost smell the beer. No, right. it's uh. He was a uh, vodka guy. Vodka. Yeah. No, vodka well, vodka. I mean, I kind of mean smell the alcohol. I think it's because when you're round, my my brain just conjured up a a kind of yeah. Uh, the I was gonna say like there is no word for it, but it's conjured up the smell in my brain of what it's like to be around a drunk person because you can just you know what I mean. I could just anticipate smelling that emanating from him the way he's, it's kind of his mannerisms and the way he's moving his head. Yeah, they have they have to really walk a fine line here with his uh, sobriety issue. Um, if he's too inebriated to be invest uh, to be interrogated like this, uh, the defense lawyer would just put together you know a position uh, you know a, a motion to exclude all this stuff because he was incapacitated. Yeah, the same so would be none in of the England. Stuff he says is credible. In mm-hmm. England, this um, interview wouldn't have even took place under no circumstances. Would this well, would, would this have even started? Here's where his bravado goes against him, though. If he just admits he's drunk, if he does all that, they'll ho- they'll hold off and they won't do this. But he's pretending like he's as sober as hell right now, and they, and we don't know what preliminary questions. Sometimes the questions are: you want any prescription medication, or you want anything that uh, alter your ability to tell the truth, things like that. They ask that stuff ahead of time. They may have done that already, and he may have said yes to all of it. Who knows? Mm. Yeah, could have done. It's it is a bit of a gap. I mean, like I said, in the UK, I know the legal system's very different. But if if there'd have been an investigating officer over here, he'd have just said, "I'm not happy with this interview." It would have been quashed immediately, and they'd have just stuck him in his cell um, for eight to wait for him to work. Uh, right, so dry him out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's yeah. a bit. I find this a bit odd, to be honest. But here we are. That's generally the only place you do it. They probably insisted on doing this. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, but th- there goes the problem. It's like you- you're asking for decisions off someone who's drunk, who's not capable well, of making them. Well, let's straighten this out right now. I don't want to wait any longer. I got work tomorrow. <laughs> so, I can imagine. <laughs> um, someone's just saying, do we have Rose's chat log? I mean, obviously we have access to it, but this this is just the interrogation. It may be that uh, another video uh, when we go, what you know, when we've go over it we can sort of revert back to it there's the phone calls as well which i find a bit i didn't like the phone calls very much really because he just comes out with some vulgarities that i didn't really like yeah but i suppose they all do well what was funny about them are, are you talking about the one where he's driving over right are there other phone calls other than that or is it just one i don't know is there I don't know. I, I'm just aware of the one where he is driving over. But I think what was funny about the vulgarities is that they would come out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. He would, he would just be like, all right, I'm going to take a left over here. So I'm going to come over there and fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> they just sort of like, what? <laughs> he does the same thing in this in this interview. You know, you think he's an upstanding yeah. man. Suddenly, he just well, give me an eighteen-year-old. Me... Well, I'm not going to get ahead of ourselves. But he does that. He he, he offers like this weird shock value. You know, he just yeah. gets vulgar real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you have, you have your own personal computer or a laptop? Yes. It's a... both. Oh, do you have you have both? I actually have two laptops. Okay, two laptops. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Watch his eyes, right here. Use I, it's my business. Okay, it's your business. Okay. This is like what beer and type of business. <laughs> Very I, hostile. I do web pages for, for University of Cincinnati. I have access to those. those uh, I expect to, to go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> you can hear a lot going on in the background as well if you listen. 
Um, yeah. It's not very good at cutting out the external noise. Have access to them. Mm. It was a busy night over there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. In order to do the business. Because I remember there was one interrogation that you can see Jim Roush walk by. Yeah. While they're questioning somebody else, and that it must be that same oh, room really? or one next door or something. Yeah. Oh. I we like the one that. That. we need to find that for next week, don't we? <laughs> but it's dead. Is it, is it <laughs> like that, that um, clip on YouTube that you sent me where they're making a documentary and George Lucas happens to just walk past the camera into a building? Yeah, it's really exactly. It's very. You just see all you could see is I don't even know that you see like his head. You see his giant belly sticking out with that shirt <laughs> and his jacket. You know, so you know it's him. <laughs> He's waiting for his coffee. But it's kind of <laughs> like the Lawrence situation when uh, when uh, Catherine Reed was doing Lurch and uh, the detective Lawrence, the detective who was being interrogated next door, came in and said, oh, he's toast. He started talking about Lawrence case. It's kind of like that. We didn't get to see Lauren then, but we got to hear about what was simultaneously going on. Yeah. <laughs> And you usually use all his computers to chat to people or chat or you just use one, one specific? Or... Um, usually you <laughs> don't. Just... Right, I've got to watch that again. He's expressed he's just made me laugh. <laughs> Where? He's in danger. And you usually use all his computers to chat to people or chat or you just use one, one specific? Or... <laughs> um, usually <laughs> why that makes me laugh so much it's just like his crazy reactions to such a normal question if I do chat if you which do I, don't, I don't do but that, again because the fact of the business that I'm in mm -hmm. chat is a part of what I do you, you fucking got that right <laughs> but not that kind of chat. <laughs> chat is a part of what not I do. What he's talking about. You mean like be a human? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's very important for us human <laughs> beings. And chat is what, part of what me. education department? What education department has uh, has their instructors sitting naked in oh. front of uh, in front of the screen for virtual learning? <laughs> well, there there are a lot of uh, tutorials online, from what I've heard, that uh, people do <laughs> do that kind of thing. Um, so, so I believe. University of Cincinnati, distance learning. Okay. And, and I need to be able to do, to access that okay. in order to be able to do the business, do, the business I do okay. with them. Okay. Um, so you met, so you met Cheyenne. I didn't met, meet Cheyenne. She, she had, came after me. <laughs> That's a bit of a crazy <laughs> distinction to make there, I think. <laughs> Love when they blame the children. Well, they don't, he doesn't really me. have any other option at this point, does he? You know, who else is he going to blame? Us? Well, I mean, at least he's singling it out on one person rather than doing a lawn and blaming the whole fucking rest of the planet. You know. But anyway, I'm sure there's uh, time for that. Okay, she came after you. Tell me about that. I don't. I don't know. I don't exactly how it happened at all. What? I have no recollection at all what happened for her to make contact with me. I don't know. Was on. Was I on some line of some sort? I have no idea. That's an interesting um, stance to take at this point, isn't it? No, doesn't it hurt just. Himself. Didn't Perverted Justice take care to make sure that they reached out first, that the men yeah. would reach out to them? Yeah, that's one of the that's one of the uh, main criteria. To pick yeah. these guys out. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and, the chat and he can't right explain there. it. He also he can't explain it because that's not what happened. No, he so saying, he may not be able to. He may not be able to say exactly where he was at. You know, like oh, it was at, in this particular room or in, you know, that this night or anything like that. But he knows. He knows what he does. Mm -hmm. Just like Lauren. He's just intentionally forgetting it. 
Yeah, of course. It's not not. Convenient. But he just said she came after me. She contacted me. I can't remember anything. I have no recollection at all. But she came after me. Yeah, Continue which is a weird way to phrase it. Yeah. Well, this is yeah. the. This is. I never paid much attention to this interview. It kind of annoyed me. I was drunk. Now, even though it's comical, it kind of takes away from a good. You can't have an effective police interview when someone's drunk. You want to get to the truth, and you want to try. Although, you want to unpeel the layers of deceit, layer by layer, by logic, by tying them up. Because if you've got the truth and they and they haven't, you've got a distinct advantage, and they're on the back foot. Um, well, what if they had him sitting there for a while? Because I think at the end of the interrogation. Catherine Reed talks about how late it is mm. because he's falling asleep and everything. Yeah. But so he could have he could have been sitting there for a really long time. It doesn't matter. Jim was good drunk. to go. You, you know, you're more apt to get the maybe truth he hasn't. Somebody who's drunk. Well, if okay. he isn't drunk, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Um, you know, if this is his normal demeanor, but it just I just find it a bit confusing. I, I just can't understand why they just don't bed him down for ten hours and. You know, interview him in the morning when when he's when he's sober. I, I find that an odd strategy. I mean, I, I don't think ultimately it made any difference um, to his conviction. And to be honest, maybe it's because they're thinking he's bang to rights anyway. He fucking curse. But I know for a fact, like I said, it it would it be a huge issue over here. The interview would get struck off immediately. Um, yeah, but Andrew, there's a fine line. It's a really subjective thing. I mean, you got to remember, they probably took down his information ahead of time. They probably went through parts of his life. He was able to recall it so they could write it down. And they probably were able to evaluate that he understood what was going on around him. He understood the questions. It's not an issue about that. And then they would ask him maybe, you know, was the last time you had a drink? And he would probably minimize that, too. So if this guy's like dying to the talk uh you know you you guys over there i'm sure if somebody was dying to talk about how drunk they were you're going to listen to no them, that's so. not no not over here no no i mean it, like i said different states different rules different countries of course over here the um the custody sergeant will make an immediate decision on um whether he's drunk or not uh and then he would if there was a hit i mean look like if there was like a beer or two uh, as I understand it, they they wouldn't have a problem. Uh, but I've watched enough and read enough books to know definitively that if the if the custody thought that he was drunk, it wouldn't even be considered at all, because the defense would. What about would... Jim? What about Jim? Would would they let him go through in your country? Yeah. What do you think about him? Who? Jim. Jim. What him as he is now? I'm looking at him right now and what he's. Yeah. yeah. No, well, that's Would what I'm trying to say. Him? Under no circumstances would this interview start. Never. Oh. No chance. So you think he sounds drunk right here? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds and looks drunk. In, the, the, the rule okay. is over here. It's part of the Police and Criminals Evidence Act that if they're intoxicated, basically, if you're over the limit of what you should be to drive a vehicle, you wouldn't be police interviewed. Um it doesn't mean that you wouldn't like if you came in and you made some kind of admissions to an officer or something like that. Right, right. Uh, I killed that, her. That would be noted down. But it, right. to, to be honest, it's pointless debating because over here, uh, everything is very, very different to over there with you guys. I don't um, think it's much different, Andrew. I, I really don't. I think it's just a question of judgment here. Mm. You know, I yeah. mean, I think if Jim was willing to talk and I, he was able to give me information, you know, uh, coherently. Uh, I would say you he's call fine. This coherent? Sure, he may have a few drinks. <laughs> hmm? You call this coherent? Well, I don't know that he's that. Hmm? I mean, personally, I know that we know that he was drinking because I think he mentioned it before right. he left, and you know, when his drive and stuff like that. But I don't know that I would. I would listen to this and be like, "Oh, he's wasted." I, this right. could just be how he was at the time oh interesting right yeah i don't i, don't I mean i don't know he could be and I, and i mean he seems like also a seasoned drinker as well i think he probably knocks back a few quite often oh sure i mean he comes across as someone to me who's a bit depressed at the minute um you know going mm -hmm. around he's obviously chatting up these young girls 
he's mostly all over the place. Even I can kind of establish that without the drinking. Um, he comes across as somebody who's kind of having a midlife crisis in a way. Um, well, we're not going to wait for that to resolve itself before we question him. Well, yeah, good luck with that. Um, <laughs> so you you were chatting. I like his long, um, his really long winks. <laughs> That's indicative of someone who's <laughs> drunk. Like he just closes like his eyes for like three or four seconds. Well, that's his that's his dignity act. He's trying to hang on to his dig- and, you know he's a little probably tipsy, but he, he's uh, he's trying to hang on to this uh, dignified act. He's too, you know this is this is beneath him. You know you guys got this wrong. That's his position going in right now. Thinks he's going to get a tip. She came on. She came on to you while you were chatting some sometime. Well, somebody did. Whatever who that sign is. Okay. Do you, do you know how old Cheyenne Ann was? She told me she was 13, but and, and I was very, 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 I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> That's not what she, it's funny, he's, asking, he's, he's <laughs> answering questions he's not been asked. He's like, she was 13, or I wouldn't do that. <laughs> All he said was, I will decide. And how dare you, it's, it's like, how dare you insinuate that. Don't do that. I don't want to do that. Okay. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not there. Not there. No, not at all. I love that. Okay. Um, yeah. I'd be happy, you know, like give me a give me an 18, 19 year old, and I'll be. <laughs> Record scratch. <laughs> <laughs> you were right, Tiffany. You were right about the pausing and get great facial expressions. Look at that one. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who does he think he's talking to? That's a crack Who the of fuck that. does he think he's talking to? The, these the people peers? are probably going, let's tread lightly with this guy. And then he says something like this and go, okay, we got a creep. Essentially. <laughs> <laughs> it's and funny. there's a woman in the room. That, that, that to me, I know I keep hitting it home, the drunkenness, but I believe that like it impairs your judgment and you just say completely <laughs> rational things. If you were sober and you were trying to do this logically and paint yourself in the best possible light, you wouldn't immediately come out here and say, yeah, give me an 18 and 19 year old and I'll be all over it like a fucking rush. Yeah, I'd fucking stick my fist in it. And, you know, it's like, you know, just shut up, dude. You're not doing yourself any fucking favours here. Yeah, but this guy's 60 years old, well, all exactly. right? And he thinks it's not, he, he doesn't think it's like uh, somebody would take a double take of him going after 18 and 19 year old girls. Like, he thinks that's totally you know, acceptable. And of course it's legal, you know, but he doesn't see the optics to that. He's totally blind. Yeah. Doesn't help his case. <laughs> He's supposed to be his grandpa. Exactly. James. I love that. I love that picture there. That's great. Anyway, I'm sure we'll be getting more and more as we continue to pause it and annoy everybody. Okay. 13 year olds. I'm Oh, good God, no. Oh, no. Of Did he just not. say that's gross? Is that what he yeah. said? Yeah. Oh, that's What a so reaction. Gross. Not it's wrong. <laughs> it's not immoral. It, you know, it's, it's it's gross. Not my type. <laughs> this guy's a great man. I didn't read his chat log. Um, what? did? You, have you guys read it? Uh, yeah, well. I haven't. I didn't read it personally. I, I've I've saw some content with people reading it i i'm just wondering what his reaction was when when he found her age when she told him her age oh he just plowed through is anybody in the chat who can enlighten us maybe you can do us all a favor and um maybe go and have a quick look while we uh crack on <laughs> see what the chat log says not, not your thing yeah. and when you were talking to Cheyenne on the chat chat line, what did you guys talk about? Well, and up until this afternoon, which was uh, I don't know what I, I, I gave in for, but I thought, thought she was more like a, an adult. But um, no, I, 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 I was very very cautious not to not to be there. I didn't want to be there. <laughs> it sounds like very familiar. That I know I didn't want to be there. Can anybody it think does. what that? You know, it's it's so it's very familiar, but at the same time, I can't say who was saying stuff like this either. 
I just can't remember. No, I can't either. Anybody in the chat, could you please let us know <laughs> who this sounds like? Because we're all scratching our heads here. It's very, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of foolproof. You can't really, you know, it's such a great denial that I didn't want to be there. Yeah, I um, wish somebody would, would uh, talk about uh, what happened when she was 13, when she said he was when she told him she was 13, because I think he did have some reservations here and there, but for the most part, he just kept plowing through. He did want to be there. Yeah. It's really? interesting though, too, that he's saying that he was thinking she was more of an adult, but he also didn't want to go there with her being 13. Yeah. So maybe he is drunk. <laughs> Yeah. That is what a drunk person would say, so it's certainly um, mm -hmm. it's certain adding that pile of evidence up. Don't, no, really, that's not, not, not my thing. I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> oh, it's worth it. Did you find out a good old curiosity? What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> I don't want it. I don't like it. No. Curiosity? No, I don't even care. I'm, I'm, I'm not even curiosity. I don't have any curiosity about it. It's it's too young. It's 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 stupid. And now you can go back and look at all. You see, this is what a drunk person would do: is trying to defend an indefensible position, not taking into consideration that there's a chat log, phone calls. He's not been able to articulate in his mind the position he's actually in. This is an intelligent guy. This isn't a dummy. This is a fucking academic guy, who. You know, we're not talking about a John Kennelly or a Lawn type character here. So he's just coming out with complete waffle, which makes it entertaining, of course. I think he's really stupid. I mean, I I think he, he he's a poser. I think in a lot of a lot of ways. I think, but you know, um, he's not as intelligent as he thinks he thinks he is. That's that's the better way of putting it. I think he's drunk. And if he wasn't wasted, then he maybe could have come up with a better defense. I think he'd have just shut up if he was sober. Like, I want a lawyer. How about that? Yeah. I mean, yeah. He, even when we've gone over the lawn interrogation, although he shouldn't have said anything at all, he was at least smart enough to say he wanted a lawyer when the photos came out. Now, he also sent a whole bunch of pictures. Anyway, we can't start going out of fucking long, really fucking three minutes into the interview. All the records of the conversations I've had. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what I said. It's, it's stupid. Okay. I, I don't, that's not what I want to be. Okay. Did he say that's not what I want to be? Yeah. Yeah. That's also too. quite familiar. We're going to have to stop going down this road. <laughs> I didn't want to be that guy. <laughs> he, he never says it, it's wrong. He never says that. No, well, he's stupid. saying that you can go back and look at the records of the chats that he's had, and he's always said that it's stupid. Yeah. So I would love to see where he says it's stupid. Mm, stupid to do that. You know. Yeah. I don't even like... I don't even, I don't even, that's not, that's not me. Not I don't well, even well, like well, what? Women? 13 Girls, year olds. He children? He goes around hating 13 year old kids. He, he doesn't <laughs> even like them. If he meets one, somebody <laughs> happens to introduce him to one, he would tell him to go fuck himself. <laughs> not like, I don't even like you. Yeah, but not like Law, and he spent his whole life protecting kids. He loved even it. when he was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird thing to say. I don't even like kids, like 13-year-olds. All right, we're not going off that. on Lauren here. Sorry. Stay no, Shim was talking about Jim. Yeah. Oh, was he? Okay, I got nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, though, Shin. Right? I apologize. Yeah. I don't get those kind of apologies. <laughs> you don't deserve them. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, Shin is nice. Nervous. Uh, yeah. Do you have any type of webcam or anything like that? I do have a webcam. Okay. Oh, okay. oh. Um, <laughs> do you ever use it for any, for any purposes? Or? It's a, it's available. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way do they let them let use it. Slide, slide. <laughs> I saw the movie. <laughs> <laughs> they don't challenge them on it. That's good because they got That's a lot great more to go. Dodging. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
Hunt. Did you ever see? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> it's available. <laughs> That's a cracking line. <laughs> it's available. Did you use it? It's available. <laughs> it's almost like, did you use your penis? It's available. <laughs> use it? I don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> use it how? He doesn't like. Is he say, insinuating that they mean use it in some kind of sexual act, <laughs> like the actual physical <laughs> yeah, camera? Exactly. It's like, well, I don't know what you're going to do with that. <clears throat> That's true. It, it would have been great if they said, "Do you use it to show your dick online?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh. right. So we, we didn't we didn't get into what you guys talked about. What, what you guys talked about? That You're was a physical mini-syllable. That, that very well put. That, <laughs> let's, we're good. that deserves another 10-second rewind. Right. So we, we, didn't, we didn't get into what you guys talked about. What, what you guys talked about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I love that. It's just like like you said, a, a, a visual mini syllables is what that is. I was very, very up until today, which is obviously the reason the results have come. I have been very, very cautious of not talking about anything. I do not want to be involved with a thirteen-year-old. <laughs> okay, here we go again. I don't like it. Okay, go. I do not like it. I don't want it. And I, for some reason, I just, I just get re relaxed and. So who do you think you were talking? This to? guy's fucking wasted. I'm sorry to keep going over it, but he's fucking no, wasted. No, no, he's fucked. There's a difference. He's fucked, and he, he's talking. He's wasted. He keeps thinking of a thought that's not going to work, but he does it anyway. He says it anyway. That's the that you've just defined what it means to be drunk. Not necessarily. Really? That's perfect. I mean, that's honest with you. I don't know. For whatever worth value that is. That's not a drunk. I'll give you that. I don't. I, 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 don't. I, I cannot condone oh. the, the, the statements that I would have made this afternoon to her. I, I, would, I wish I could retract them. Yeah. Not because. So we've just had an admittance there for the first time. He's kind of absolutely well. He's not d directly. He's not a direct admittance, is it? No, he could regret things that aren't illegal. <clears throat> but he just kind of said he said things he shouldn't have done. <clears throat> Again, <clears throat> doesn't necessarily mean it's incriminating. <clears throat> no. But, well, you need more than that. Yeah, of course. You but he's just put kind some of meat on that bone. It's the what? Well, it's the first type of hint of oh, yeah. of, of a, an admission, isn't it? Even though he's not he's, he's not specified what he means, and it could be you know that could be taken a number of ways. He's kind of said, "I've done stuff I shouldn't have done," or said things I shouldn't have said. More to the point, because of you guys. Yeah. But because of the fact that I, I, I just don't, that's not it, that's not me. I don't, I don't see it, I don't. Jim, I understand, all right? And I'm, I'm you're, you, you, I understand you, you've made a mistake, okay? I've read the chats. Right. Okay? And you I, can I, see I, how, you know. You know, First time I, he knows I that. see here where you you told her that you wanted to to fuck around. <laughs> and that you. <laughs> we're we're then what then what provoked that? Yeah. What did he say? Oh, what provoked that? What provoked that? Oh, is that basically his way of saying it wasn't my fault? It's the child's yeah. fault, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. I'm gonna blame the thirteen-year-old. Yeah, put it on the kid. As Tiffany famously once Put said. Put it on the cab. That's right. He lured me. 
He's got nothing. He's he's got to go to a word salad pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, you, we can go down. The, I, yeah. I'm not going to go to the details of the thing. Yeah. I, I, I understand what you're doing. Yeah, and I, I what you're doing. I'm, I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to understand here. I, you know, I, I, I did not. I did not meet with her. Number one. Number two. Didn't he get? Didn't he get busted before he got chance to meet with her? He did. Yeah, he didn't make it to the house. Oh, he was, was it? only like a block away, though. But why did? Yeah, he was very close. In the neighborhood. Did he turn round? Why did the cops get him before any potential meeting at the house? Um, because he was fucked up. He know. couldn't find the place. I thought just... he couldn't find it. Ah. Yeah. It, it was shitty directions. Well, maybe they were but... afraid to go back. <laughs> he drove right into the in, into the police convoy. Right. <laughs> it's, it's, they might as well take him there. Right. There was no there was no Chris Hansen also to interview him in the house. Right. Right, yeah, because they weren't there. Yep. Right. Just got some um bit of spam in the chat, just trying to sort it out. Right, it's all set. Yeah, Shin's manhole has very kindly sorted it out. <clears throat> I I didn't yeah. really want to meet with her. Okay. Ironically, the spam was go to this website for XXX. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> mm -hmm. it was, I, I really, if you go to the, the bottom lines of things, talk, let, let's talk about facts that I denied and I did not want to do that. I really did not want to. You didn't want to do it, guys. Jim, I know you're under a lot of I didn't want to do it. Ignore Never the parts where it. I said I didn't want to. And I was going to do it. Let's not talk about those. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's funny is this guy's wasted. <laughs> Law was sober as a judge, and he still came out with this shit. I I'm, sure you're right. sure. <laughs> I, well, I'm not. I'm really not. I mean, obviously, being here is a little bit yeah. of pressure, but that's not. Are you married? Yes. No. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Well, are you? well, what is it, Jim? Yes, no, maybe so. God, no. You want her? You can have her. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's getting chummy there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got, I got one of my own. I, I, that's enough for me. Holy shit. Coming out with all kinds of calamities. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got him with that joke. He, that's the icebreaker. Yeah. For him. Yeah. Bit like when Dustin tries to uh, do his own pathetic attempt at humour to to uh, uh, make free. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. That. I love those laughs. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> ammunition. That's all. No, I'm not trying to give any ammunition for nobody. This is just me, you, and Kate here. Okay. Well, it's not. But well, okay. I did not do anything to this. Whatever this person is, whoever it is, I did not intentionally okay. meet with I met with this person because this person, whoever it is, male or female, whatever, enticed me to the point where I Oh interesting. And enticed. Uh, mm. Mm. Female powers. Mm. I I did you so you guys did talk about sexual acts in your conversations. Oh, he's thinking. He's thinking. I don't know that. Okay. I don't want. I don't know why these guys delay the inevitable. <laughs> you know, it, they're eventually going to read the chat. So be honest about it now. If they haven't read it already. Did he say I don't remember that? I don't know. Let me replay that. I missed that as well. You guys did talk about sexual acts. In your conversations. I don't know that. I think, didn't he <laughs> just say, I don't know that? Yeah. 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 You can go back. Yeah, to I mean, I, 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 don't don't know. Know. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. It doesn't really, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, I. Resignation. Jim, Resignation. I'm just trying to figure out what really happened. Because if, well, if we don't talk about it now, and if I just give this to somebody, they're going to think you are 
a sick, maybe possibly a child predator. Oh, interesting. That's quite harsh <laughs> terminology. Not harsh. Harsh makes makes it sound like it's unfair, but quite um, hard terminology. Sick, child predator. You know, it's hitting it, hitting, he hitting it hard, you, isn't it? It's fantastic what he does here. I think it's one of the best things he does because he's basically saying, Jim, I'm on your side, but if I have to pass this on to someone else, you know, it'll be out of my hands here, you know, mm -hmm. so talk to me. Yeah. I, you know, right. they'll Help. believe what they want. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Mm. You know, the narcissist falls for it. Help yourself by explaining, explaining yeah, to it to me. They're... To me. Right. Yeah, it's the whole, the oldest trick in the book, control. isn't it? It's it's a great but tactic. Still effective. He opens up. Well, it's more than he expected. But he opens up. And I don't I think you're a that lot of interrogation. Okay. I'm not. And you're not. But if we don't talk about it, what else? Um, what else? Can I tell people saying, you know, Jim, Jim made a mistake. This is what happened. Follow through. Number one. Number two. Yeah. Number two. Um, the, because. So he, his, his defense at the minute seems to be, he's mentioned this more than once, is that he didn't go there. Not only did he not mean to go there, he didn't actually follow through with the actual act. Now, as we understand it, he got pulled over by the cops for getting lost. Now, he might he know that. He was right around the corner. Yeah. He was right there, Andrew. It wasn't like they got him on the street. Yeah. They got him in the neighborhood, and he just took the, a left instead of a right. Yeah. That's all that happened. They got him right there. Of course. But, but from... this is a, something all the predators do. I didn't go. I didn't do anything yet, defense. Yeah. It's the same mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, of course it is. But from his point of view, he thinks he's got something to his advantage, which, of course, f you could argue that he does. You can't. If he was, a, let's just say this went to court, and he said, Your Honor, I changed my mind. I realized it was a terrible thing to do, and I didn't go to that house. I, kn I knew I was never going to go through with it. Does it not put him in a better position than someone... I'm sorry to make that comparison, but it is the best one. Lorne, who goes through the house, skipping uh, and goes for a kiss. Yeah, yeah but he was, he was pretty enthusiastic. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, from the phone calls. He was pretty enthusiastic all the way to the very end. No, but oh, yeah. Uh, was... yeah, but like a but but that doesn't defeat that. What I'm saying is, does it help? Would it help his cause? I mean, it kind of wouldn't. Oh, seem the jury to... believes it. Yeah, it's up to a jury, right? Mm. Would you believe it if you were in the jury? Well, it wouldn't appear. No. So. I mean, if they put all the evidence together, he, he you know, he may be intoxicated. Um, <laughs> he's still, yeah. you know, he's he's clearly. Seems like he wasn't coherent in, in, in the phone calls as well. He's like driving around. The cops say, you know, he put he turned away. It appeared he was lost. Then obviously you put that case forward that no, your honour, it wasn't because he fucking changed his mind and didn't want to do it. He was pissed and didn't know where he was fucking going. Um, that would seem to be because well, the best what... thing for him in his case is to throw out this confession. That's yeah. the best thing that could happen to him. I think he got quite a long sentence if i remember correctly uh 46 months yeah i think it was one of the more one of the longer ones wasn't it lauren got 60 <laughs> and and seven years on the state case so uh, five and I seven know, it's so funny that he got one of the biggest sentences brilliant the fact that didn't fall <laughs> five is, fucking is, years i'm not so sure, sure happy. That i wasn't turned down the street where when he was picked up yeah um if you, if you check back on, on the records, you, on, on the, the results, there have been three, three, at least three times where I, where I turned around. You didn't turn and around. You I, got I, lost. I, I'm not. I'm, I don't do this. I don't. Number one, I don't really want to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me some sex. Okay. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. It's so funny that he comes out with these perverted comments. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is on par with the give me an 18 year old or 19 year old. It's well, that's what thing. I mean. It, it's he, it's came out of nowhere. It's equally kind of um, shocking. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't. He's 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 nailing his own coffin. Yeah. Not that. Yeah. He's in any position to defend himself, really. You know, he's kind of... Well, why would he think that these two people are the people you can talk like that with? 
Well, you know? I'm sorry to keep hammering this home, but I have to. It's because he's fucking drunk out of his skull. You don't make rational right. decisions at all. It, oh, like I said, I know you think he's stupid, Shin, but he is an intelligent guy. I don't think he could read a room even if he was sober, man. I think he's inappropriate in a lot of places. Right. Well, I mean, I, I, don't, well, it, I don't know. That that's his personality. I've, n- I've would never, I've like never seen it. this guy when he's sober, so I can only judge on what I'm looking at now. Right. He says stuff like that. In fr- it's not just him and the male detective, like a couple of guys talking like that. There's a woman in the room as well, and he's very dismissive of right. her, the whole the whole process. It's almost like he's he, he doesn't care whether he offends her or, or maybe he's trying to offend her. It's weird. Uh, guys to guys, you know, you know, it's almost like the I rape you annually guy, you know, guy to guy. Um, but he, he has no idea who his audience is. He has no idea. He, I think he, I think he's always like this, Andrew. I don't think he's drunk. I think he's, what? You don't he's, think he's drunk. he overshares all the time with people, weird, awkward moments. Hmm, interesting. And I'll find ways to do the sex, but don't, don't, no, not this use. That's the way he phrases it. He just, <laughs> do the sex. Just digging himself a bigger hole continuously, isn't he? Next time I get this lucky, I'm going to ask if we can do the sex. If nobody stops. I'm expecting him to go, so how is your sex life? I'll do tonight. What do you think might have happened? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I'll be honest with you about that. I, I nothing. Nothing would have happened. <clears throat> uh, okay. <laughs> God, this, is this a place to tell the story? So? Oh, shit. Yes. Here it goes. Right. Place any. <laughs> and we're just trying to be honest with each other. I went to a swingers pub last night. <laughs> so I got a minute. Give me any 18 year old. Um, I want sex. No, yeah. And I went to a swingers yeah. club. And we've had that it in this first escalate. 10 minutes. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's it's like a little pyramid. It goes up. It was great. So this is to prove that he is not like desperate for sex. He went yeah. into a swingers yeah. club, walked right out. He can take it or leave it. Gross. <laughs> Reminds me of the Simpsons episode where Homer gets kicked out of the all-you-can-eat-seafood restaurant because he ate too much, and then the judge said, what did you do after you couldn't find another restaurant? We went fishing. It's like, (laughs) went to a swingers club, didn't get anywhere, so I thought I'd go online and chat up a kid. You know, what else did it... What what were my other options? Could you imagine what that swingers club looked like? I'm trying oh, Jim, to walk that. in. <laughs> Do you want I don't to? know, but I'd have seen something. fucking money to watch him go in there in his current state. Well, I, <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I think that it's it's reasonable to say that he didn't leave because he wasn't interested. That's bullshit. Yes, I would. That's argue definitely bullshit. Maybe the, maybe he was even too vulgar for the swingers club. Yeah, maybe he, I, I'm sure he thought he was out of his league, maybe felt um, self-conscious in there and knew he probably wasn't get, going to get anywhere. Mm-hmm. Or maybe he just wasn't drunk enough to approach any women at that point. Mm. Swingers club, eh? Has anyone been to a swingers club? I think we need to know. Come on, Shane, if How there's anybody in that. this chat that's likely to have been to one, it's you. <laughs> yes. So I'm hearing yeah, silence. All I'm hearing is silence. Oh, oh, oh. sorry, no, I had that boy. What's the question? <laughs> what? Have you ever been to a swinger club? Me? No. Yeah, I don't you... think they exist. I, I mean, I don't think there's like a like a building with a sign out front. I think it's just like people. <laughs> well, I've been invited, I guess. Um, oh. My, wife, my ex-wife, but okay. it's more like a. A, a club, you know, exactly like that, you know, where you meet at people's homes and shit. Yeah, have you seen, you have know? any of you guys seen Bruno, the Sasha Baron Cohen sort of follow up to Borat? I think so, yeah. Where he goes to a swingers yeah. club, he tries to turn straight and goes to a swingers club, and it's just a group of people at a house banging each other. And that's, like you said, Jim, <laughs> that's exactly because it's not like you go to a strip club, it's, it's, it's an established, you know, business or whatever you want to call it you know 
but it's not like yeah. that. Right, with, with a big blinking sign. Yeah, exactly. Swingers. Like swingers down here. It's like, a <laughs> it's like a book club, Andrew. You know, same thing. <laughs> you know, except for, you know, well, I'm glad we were able to clarify that then, because even though I know that already, I must admit, when he says I went to a swingers club last night, I just conjured in my head that he went to like a strip club, but it's really full of street exactly. swingers. Exactly. That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. The we way don't. You talk about it. We don't. Um, they don't exist in at least as far as and, we know. And, and can we can we talk about the obvious problem with that? Him going stag like that, you, you know, the whole idea is to bring someone you could share with somebody else, right? Yeah, because because I mean, that's right. a great thing Transactual to say. Because right? you just get a load of perverts showing up, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would. Would be all guys. Yeah, would be just all going. Look at that. Yeah, and just fucking masturbating while they're watching it, wouldn't they? <laughs> Oh man, yeah, definitely. That's why he walked out. <laughs> you mean he got what he wanted and kind of left? <laughs> Maybe because he didn't have somebody with him, he wasn't allowed in. Oh, we need footage of that. Oh, that would be a security camera or something. He comes in in different different disguises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, gets, he gets turned away. Every Hello, time my name is Mr. Strub. <laughs> Brings in a blow up doll. Away. This, this is his wife. <laughs> so it's just weird that he's in that scene, I guess. And by the way, Joey's, uh, uh, and I hope it's Joey. I, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, show, his wife and him were into that, uh, apparently. That's, uh, I guess, some of the research they found. And um, maybe it was some divorce papers they were looking at or whatever. So he was kind of into this thing. But now that he doesn't have his wife again, I don't think he could just go. Right. But he tried. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he did. <laughs> well, he, according, yeah, according to him, he did. Why would you say that, though? <laughs> well, I mean, I've kind of answered my own question for the well, last Well, they know each seconds. other now. I know. like... He just, it, you know, it is entertaining. Come on, Bob, let me in. You know, you, Susan's not here anymore. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> for old time's sake, no, come, on, for, come on. <laughs> he already has his pants off. Oh, I, don't I don't like it. I don't want it. I walked out. I, 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 and the reason I walked out is because, no, it's not for me. Well, why did you fucking go, dude? I'm I'm not selective. I don't want you to think of it as being selective. He's not hmm, That's he's weird. Just, I would have thought he's he was. Just saying crazier and crazier <laughs> shit as it goes along. That's right, Tiffany. He he was making the argument that he was selective. Now he says he's not. Right. <laughs> I'm just I'm looking for some 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 satisfaction from some somebody. And, and, then, and I'm not looking, and again, my own motivation is not, not to, 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 um, just find somebody who was, who's, who's interested in me. Okay. Not, 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 not young, not old, not fat, not thin, not some. Not fat, not thin, not old and not young. Hmm kind of going for a middle of the road type person which is not what he went after Someone who is I don't know he's he's basically this saying who, he's just basically saying whoever he's not looking for a particular type yeah. so he's not going to discriminate as long as you're interested in him hmm. it, oh yeah he goes into that uh, is not just for my dick speech <laughs> yeah exactly okay Stop cheating before we've got there, Shin. And that's where we are. Any second, I think. And how okay, I, you over? know, before I said I wasn't sure that he was really drunk, he definitely is. Yeah, he seems to <laughs> yeah. be getting, he seems to be getting more drunk. It's almost like he had a bottle yeah. of whiskey and now it's starting to fill his veins even further that's the impression i'm getting he's getting more pissed as it's yeah. going on yeah because he's getting emotional and this isn't something to get emotional about unless you're drunk hey guys good news here uh jerk off wet girls are here again man yeah finally i think 
Okay. <laughs> yes. Get yeah. On. Great. Shin's manhole is working overtime. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to just add that to my favorites. There we go. That's done. Oh jeez. We've been separated. Or... We've been we've been divorced for. Listen, I wouldn't ever. I won't ever. Never. From two thousand was it four years? Five, almost four. Almost five years. Five years ago. He's like, back in my drinking days, there'd always be someone in the bar like that. There'd always be an old guy drunk looking to bore somebody to fucking death. Just not making any sense. You know, I had a difficult day at work. You're like, just stay the fuck away from me, dude. That's what it reminds me of. I've had, a little, I've had, I've had relationships with other women. It's not, it's not that. It's not a sexual thing, though. No. What, what is it? There's somebody, and I, and I, I guess, I'm, and I'm, I put this out, maybe this isn't the right place for doing it. But. They're wasting a lot of time. We're only 11 minutes in. And they're just, like, there's nothing he says has got kind of any relevance, really. It's just kind of a fumbling, humorous play. He's just wasting a lot of time on nonsense, isn't he, you know? Yeah, they're just yeah, kind of letting him... It's almost like they're just having a laugh in the board. Let's just fucking... Let's interview him now. Come on, I'll give you a tenner. Cheyenne, whoever Cheyenne is... Keep saying that. George down the hall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good old George. Well, at least he's figured it out what's gone on. Because there's some other no. predators that we can't keep mentioning that to this day still don't understand the fucking concept of a sting operation. But he goes back and forth with Andrew. You know, like right now he's recognizing it was a sting. It was probably George down the hall. But sometimes he talks in this thing as if it's a real situation and she was real. It's really strange. He comes in and out of it. Maybe he's drunk. Who knows? Talk to me. <laughs> and... When that person talked to me... Look at his eyes, they're all over the place. There's a person. Now, I have other people that I talk to, and for whatever that's worth, and I don't want to bring them into this, but... but made you feel good, didn't it? It, it? it kept me away from that loneliness that I have when, I, when I'm sitting in, in my house by myself. And um, talking about your doctor. I might talk to. Yeah. You feel that lonely feeling, and you know. Whatever, whatever. And however, that comments itself. He's playing the shitty card. Try and feel that, didn't she? She fulfilled that that need. Yeah, but then it turns around because of to this this crap, which well, is which which I understand you mean for doing it. I I I, I don't I don't I don't. So you, I think so you there's a need alone. for. It. There's there's a need for people out there, and um, yeah. So it's kind of I, th I do believe that um, you know when I'm saying he comes across as somebody depressed. I think he is kind of depressed and lonely, isn't he? You know, drinks a mm -hmm. lot, goes to these swingers clubs, chats online. I don't, I don't, I think he's somebody who, who at this point in his life is really kind of struggling. That's the way it comes across. Not to obviously. Ex excuse what he's doing in any way, shape, or form, but that's the uh, that's the impression I get. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he has a deep social life. I don't think he, you know, he talks about these women. He's well, I'm, I don't want to get into. It. It's hard not to do spoil alerts on this thing, but you know, he doesn't seem like to be. He doesn't seem like a very happy person. No, no, definitely not. Um... It'd be interesting to know what sort of led him along this path. Was it just that, um, you know, he kind of he got sick of turning up to swingers clubs and getting booted out and thought his only option was going online and chatting up these kids? You know, it'd be interesting. And um, that need is fulfilled by... And, 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 and the law enforcement... By the way, I'm in criminal justice. I have to tell you that. <laughs> it's a lot of mine, but, but, but... What's... What what's that background that he's got then? Just to do we know? He does IT for um, 
uh, <laughs> University of Cincinnati's, uh, what is it, cr- Criminal Justice Department? Um, yeah, their yeah. online program. Yeah. He doesn't do anything substantive with it. He just does the uh, computer stuff. Interesting. And, but now he's a cop, so. But I am. I, I, at UC, I work for the criminal justice department. Um, there is a need for, 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 for people in this society to have a, have, have a connection with somebody. You fucking got that right, dude. But I think you've uh, gone about it the wrong way. And yeah. I don't care. I don't want that where that connection comes from. I, I think is, is is crucial, and that's where I got fucked up. You know. But he's kind of in his own drunken, crazy way. He's kind of explaining what he's doing, though. He's you know he's basically saying what I've just you know what we've just been saying ourselves is that lo- he's lonely and lost and. This is what he ended up doing, which is, like I said, it's inexcusable. But, um, you know, that I mean... He should stick with that. He should stick with that. Because he goes on and talks about how he can get laid anytime he wants. Mm. And that kind of is counter to that. It doesn't make him lonely and depressed if he has all these other options available to him. It, it, they don't... They're, they're mutually exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Don't judge me on that. I'm not. Ju- I'm not uh, judging you. I know. I know. I, I know you're not. I know, but eventually I will be. So, yeah. And, and I know that system, how it works. Um, but Jim, I, I can understand that. You know, when you're feeling lonely and you, know, you feel like you have, you know, you're by, do you, you just live by yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you feel that lonely, man. You go home every night. Yeah. You're feeling lonely. You talk to Cheyenne or whoever. Oh my and, God. Whoever you know, you're chatting to Cheyenne here. You feel like you can feel? Do you feel like you can feel open to say things? Right. And, 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 and I don't. And I don't. You know. And I think it's unfair of the of the, of the, the justice systems to to condemn me for talking to somebody. Uh, That's interesting. I mean, he's. he's you know, he's not been condemned yet, but he, he kind of knows. He knows where it's going to go, doesn't he? Which is what he's alluded to already. He's kind of mm-hmm. already projecting himself in front of that judge. He knows what's going to happen. I think he's resided himself to that. And, um, you know, he's, he's just trying to trying to look in it. You know, he's trying to look for a he's way. Going, he's going on the attack here. Yeah. He's, 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 he's trying yeah. to. His best, his best defense is a good offense right now. Chatting with an underage kid is not such a terrible offense. <laughs> um, yeah, he's kind of doing underage, what yeah. Dustin did, but more in an aggressive way. You know, when Dustin was saying, there's nothing wrong with talking to somebody, right? Yeah, I was kind of thinking what Lorne said in his lawsuit when he said chatting with an underage girl is not such a terrible offense. And, you know, right. he went down that avenue. But yeah, Dustin went down that route. She led me out a little too. I can understand, and I know that's where you come in. Um, my relationship that they create was created by with my relationship to 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 Cheyenne was because of the fact that I that I closed that out. And what does that mean? I don't think you. I means have anything. no idea. He's just rumbling. Now. I don't know what that. Yeah, he's just rambling. I. I, I, I fault you guys with that because uh, of the investigations or how you do that is that that person who, who's making those communications starts to connect with the person. Mm-hmm. And, that connect, and that connection that, that you make is not, is, uh, maybe, maybe with the perverted people is, is, is one. It's... I think he thinks, I'm getting the impression there's a part of him that thinks he's kind of unfairly done to here, that he's lonely and mm-hmm. that they shouldn't take advantage of people and pick on vulnerable. <laughs> so many similarities I didn't yeah. realize. Just like, right. They targeted him because he's vulnerable and lonely and knew, yeah. and knew that he, he wanted to make a connection with someone and they took advantage mm-hmm. of that. Yeah. Just, just ignore the fact that he drove over to try to have sex with a minor and showed his dick for, 
couple of days. But only people do that. Yeah. It's really negative. But with a person, with a person like me, it connects. It's, there's somebody who's talking to me. And um, I don't know. You do what you have to do. He resigns again. Yeah, let's cut the bullshit. Let's go. <laughs> no, Jim, come on. You have hope. Keep talking your way out. Yeah, I think, he, I think he <laughs> does, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm to the point, you know, I'm lonely. Um, I'm not going to get back to my, with my ex-wife. I wouldn't do that anyway. I have people who, who don't want to talk to me anymore. I don't care. That says a so lot. I have, right there. I have somebody who shot. I think he genuinely, he I think he really is down. In, I think he genuinely is depressed. Like, I'm not at all saying that to make any excuses for him because that's this is not how you handle depression. <laughs> um, <coughs> but I really do think that that's that's what led him to this situation. By the sounds of it, he's divulging quite a lot. You know, his marriage has failed. Uh, he goes to swingers clubs. He's clearly got an alcohol problem. He's lonely. Lives alone. Um, he's people... I think Peter Amos has it right. Roush is alone because people can't stand being around him. Yeah, probably. I mean, it's usually the case. Is you know, it's, there'll be some people that'll be alone because they push other people away. Whether they have a you know a bad perception of themselves, whether they're just uh, you know what depression does as well it's kind of a cruel symptom you kind of push other people away when you need them the most it's like a defense mechanism that the brain brings in to, to sort of protect you from th external threats it's kind of a cruel twist of fate really now whether it could be the other way around with him you know we don't know exactly how he's behaving he's clearly got something sinister inside him to even do this you know what i mean the, the, it he's a terrible person. Yeah, he's a terrible person. Many people that would be depressed that wouldn't even that wouldn't even consider something like this. The fact that he was doing it, you know, and he's in this situation is his own doing, you know. But it's funny. <laughs> well, the, he will the overall... never own any of the shit that he does. He will never own it. That's why he can never recover relationships. That's why these people hate him. Because he's he's a dick, <clears throat> he's a dick to everybody. Yeah. And you know what? He still doesn't think that's the case. He thinks that it's their problem. You know. Um, well, so... I mean, he might not really think that. He's in he's in survival mode at the minute, isn't he? He's kind of in survival mode because he's, you know, because of his intoxicated state. But he's just trying to like claw himself out of this hole, isn't he? You know, whether he truly believes that it's everybody else's fault. It looks like he's feeling bad for himself at this point. Yeah. 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 Like I. He's definitely coming across playing the victim, isn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And, and any depression he has, it could be the realization. What, what, you know, it's a reaction to everybody's reaction to him, you know? So, but I, I still don't think he's depressed about it. I think he still thinks he's right. I think, you know, he's still arrogant, still a narcissist. <laughs> Then he goes back to this bravado talking about, you know, all these other women and relationships yeah. and whatever. He's all over the place, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's just playing the depression card I, I, and the lonely card, especially the lonely card. You know, no, I, I, I think maybe. He's, I just he's think, looking for anything. I, I just think there is a, some reality to it in his life situation. You know, there's For the... any of us, we would feel that way, but I think he's such a narcissist. He thinks that He's better than anybody, everyone else. So he doesn't give a shit. Well, I think he should have stuck with lonely, the lonely narrative. I'm just a lonely guy. I'm not selective. Remember that. Yeah. So he, you know, he could convince them that he wasn't targeting Cheyenne because she was young. It was just someone paying attention to him, and right. he was so desperate for that attention that he overlooked her age or <clears throat> whatever. Yeah. I think they would have gone easier on him if he stuck with that empathetic defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, the problem is his ego wouldn't allow him to do that. 
he had to keep bragging about his other conquered uh, conquered women that he has around in his life. And even one of the other, well, we're not going to get into it, but the one he really falls for is the one he can't have. Well, it's the only one was available. It would seem, you know. You, well, according you... to him, well, we, again, he's got several. According to him, feel it's okay. Yeah, maybe I went over the border, and um, if I did, that's what I'm paying. I'm paying the price. So you spend a lot of time chatting. I don't know what a lot, a lot of time is. Um, I, I guess it's ooh. relative to it. Really, it really it, is. Yeah. I mean, I mean, probably a couple hours a day. Yeah. Maybe three. And 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 and, and most of it's not chatting. Most of it's just trying to find someone who wants to talk. Yeah. Okay. And I think that's a I think that's a major problem too. What are you doing? I think that's talk? true. I do too. What he's saying there. Naked though. He he didn't say naked though on a chair. He did that. And and from what I understand, um, he he sends webcam requests. So I I think it's before he even says anything, right? He just opens up his yeah. camera and clicks on people to see it and then if they respond and maybe he's, I think it. he might get into that yeah, yeah they might or they just might say they I'm look not at it, oh, what the fuck I'm is sure this? it's a dick so, am, I, am I missing something <laughs> here what's this about him doing these webcam things no I, well that's what he was doing while he was chatting so just like Lauren but I think you know like Lauren said hi um, this guy doesn't do that. He just is in his chat room right. and then he clicks on people and invites them to view his chat and it's sitting right on his deck. Oh, yeah. Dre, yeah that's that's just... him that's him waiting around to talk to someone innocently. That's, yeah. That's what he makes so, it sound like. <laughs> so that's why I think it's true that he spends two or three hours looking for somebody because nobody yeah. <laughs> just didn't say no he was naked in front of a camera. Right. Yeah. Spr Sprinkle Cake asks us a question, uh, guys. I don't know if you see it. Okay. Um, I do not. The long time they spent questioning him uh, and the experienced detective letting the rookie lead makes me think they treated Jim like practice. What do you think? Is it, Was that a rookie? Which one's the rookie? I, I didn't even know. The one who's mainly speaking by well, the signs of it. Um, well, he, I don't think he's a rookie. I, I mean, he's a detective. I don't know how experienced he is. He's he doesn't good. look like a really young guy, you know, no. but who knows where he was but along with it that. Would and explain. Then, and then Catherine, I think he, well, they, Catherine, is, they, I think they just saw that he was more willing to talk to the, the man yeah. rather than, so he kind of took the lead because like I said, Jim was very dismissive of, of, um, the female detective the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to use a guy for a rookie to go in there and practice on, he'd be the guy, I think. Yeah. It's an interesting thing. Yeah, it could so be, he's... could be why they've let it go ahead when he's in such a state. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't wonder... think it, it's a rookie Sorry. thing. No, no. Okay. No, I was just going to say, I don't think it's a rookie thing. I think I think it's just his, maybe his way of asking questions. I'm not really sure why he's asking them the way that he is. He seems really unsure of what he's saying. Could be his method. So that's his definitely interesting. It could be his it's method. One of the things, it's one of the things that honestly is annoying. <laughs> that's the thing about this interrogation that I don't like. So you're just out driving? <laughs> that's all I hear. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's very timid. But yeah, I thought you're he right. was that excellent. could be just his method. Well, that's mm -hmm. that could just be his method too. But that is definitely one of the things that annoyed me because it's like he doesn't just come out and ask. He's sort of shy. Yeah, and and by the way, uh, Lauren Armstrong, nice to see you, Lauren. Mentioned that these are two cops from two different departments. Mm -hmm. One's from KBI, which is a state agency. And the other is local. I don't know which ones. I think Catherine's KBI. Well, Catherine is KBI, yes. And the other yeah. guy is just is a detective at the police station. Yeah. And yeah. I think they did an excellent job. I, I really do. Not just for our entertainment, but for the case. <laughs> Talk about with 
Cheyenne or other people. Um, just anything, whatever comes any, up. Anything. Anything. Music. <laughs> the weather. <laughs> you know, really. You know, it, it really is. Um, I'm trying to, you know, I'm going to be awesome about that. I don't, I don't think it's going to go any further. I mean, you know, you're going to do this great, wonderful thing. You're going to find out the answers to the world on, on chatting. But what the fuck are you talking it's, about? It's a, I know. What, what's he mean? <laughs> He's just rambling again. I don't. He's just rambling, dude. Whole world out there. And, yeah. um Just the beer talking, all the whiskey, whatever the fuck he's been on. I have, I have some real problems with what's going on right here. Oh, dear, no. Ooh. Um, Attack. Yeah. Because I think it's an invasion, an invasion of invasion. privacy. Okay, he's drunk. <laughs> not Sorry, not in terms of the, 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 the younger age. I think that somebody else should have stopped that before I got to it. Hmm. They're ba he's basically saying, you should have stopped coming after me. You shouldn't have let me talk like that. How many how many predators would we see say the same thing? Do you thing? know what he reminds mm -hmm. me of? His stance is the rabbi. Like, do you remember when... Because that's one of my favorite confrontations. Um, in fact, I'd go as far as saying it's my favorite confrontation with Chris, my, of the whole series. Um and when he goes, when he can, when the cameras come out, he goes, "You don't have any right." And at that time, he really believed that they didn't have any right to do what they did. And it's kind of like the stance that he's taking here is that you have invaded my life, and you have created this. You know, he's, he's That's not part of it. I think realizing, or he's not. It's not that he's not realizing. He's refusing to accept why it's being done. He doesn't view it. I look at, I look at it closer to Corey Edgar, when Corey Edgar's saying things like, "Why is Yahoo letting people in the room? Why, why weren't these people stopped? How can this person mm -hmm. say she's 102 years old?" It's more. I think it's more like that. Like, why weren't there safeguards to stop this from happening? Not necessarily. Why didn't somebody stop me from doing it? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Uh, well, it's yeah, difficult to say because he's drunk and he, he's not. <laughs> and and the, think about when you're drunk and how your brain works and the stupid things that you say and do when you wake up in the morning, you go, oh, my fucking God, did I really do that? Did I really say that? You, you, you know, it. the more you learn about what it does to you, one of the reasons why I fucking completely stopped altogether it, it, no, it's just it's difficult to judge if that's how he really feels, if that's what he really thinks. I think there is some of that. He comes across like there's there's like he's there's some arrogance going on there. Uh, you know, anybody that's in this position has got some dark elements to the personality that they've clearly not dealt with. There's there's no denying that. <laughs> you could, I mean, I think okay. everybody. I think a few people agreed that. Anybody that goes to that house has got sociopathic tendencies. You know, there's, they've all got common traits, all of them, to go there. Um, but with this guy, um, I mean, it's kind of fun to decipher what's true because, you know, like I said, he's rambling half the time. But I think there is some truth coming out every now and again. I do believe that he is lonely in his life. You know, he's ticking all the boxes. Um yeah, I think there's I think there's a lot of truth in what he's saying, except for, you know, when he's saying about how the crime happened. Yeah, sure. Certainly those details are, aren't right, but when he's talking about himself and that he's he he is lonely and, you know, he's going to go through a lot more too. I I think that he's telling the truth because I think even even when people are drunk, they're not necessarily saying things that are totally off the wall and never existed. Sure, sure. Do you know what I mean? So the, there's, yeah. st there's still going to be, yeah, they're just going to be talking about, it may not make sense, you know, like what it doesn't make sense here. 
Of course. And it's going to be all garbled up. But yeah, I think there's a lot of truth in this. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um... Well, I'm not a chatter. Okay. So if you could educate me a little bit on, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go you know, where where would you go to okay. find in somebody the case to of, talk In the case of the Cheyenne thing, mm -hmm. um, that was done through Yahoo, Yahoo Messenger, mm -hmm. who has, if you're 18, you're not allowed here. If you are uh, if this, in the sessions, adult can. Adult Kentucky. Jesus Christ. And I, in, in, in that regard, I, that's where I really come off with, with I think it's, it's not fair for you to come at me. Um, I'm, except for the fact that up front, because of the way you guys do the way you do things, you make, make sure that you say it's 13, 14, whatever. But that shouldn't be there in the first place. Mm. If if you if you if it's going to be a le if it's going to be really something legally Gogham. binds Yahoo or Goggle or whoever it happens to be to be an adult place <laughs> to go. It's almost like he's going down the entrapment road already. He no, he's saying, he he's saying, again, there should be safeguards to prevent guys like me from offending. That's what he's saying. Yeah, but he's he's saying that that those people shouldn't have been in there, and you should have stopped me from talking when when you were talking to me. Or. or Otherwise, in I wouldn't be here. In addition to that, I would assume since they're in there, they're all legal. Yeah. Yeah. But he there. said here that she was 13. Mm -hmm. He said the way you guys go about things, or, you know, I don't remember the exact quote, but the way you guys go about things, you put it out there that she's 13 or 14 or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the Google, they do nothing. Um, the goggles do nothing. Um, someone just made me a Simpsons quote in the chat, which made me laugh. Um, uh, yeah. So we're gonna have to wrap it up soon. Um, we're twenty minutes in. We've actually done more than I thought, but at this rate, it's gonna take us approximately. Let's see, two, three, Ten. four, five, at Ten least episodes. five videos. Because don't forget, I think the last. 45 minutes of his interrogation is just him asleep. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got so much to say about that. <laughs> we could just talk to her. I know we could do. <laughs> we could just laugh you know at his expression. Too? Um, he does make some expressions. He does. Yeah. Cuz I think I did sit there and like watch him. <laughs> like, I don't think he was so sleeping weird. at all. I don't think he was sleeping. He may not. Have, well, he had his his eye. He was definitely resting because yeah. even even when she came back in, she said how late it was. I'm sure he was exhausted. I'm surprised he didn't have to pee through this whole thing. I know. I'm surprised. Yeah. I'm well, surprised maybe he was doing either. it in his pants as he's actually speaking. <laughs> <laughs> the hell, the What shows. I liked too about this video is the the camera zooming. It's yeah. almost it like the cameraman. The, like it's almost yeah, like the cameraman was as amused as what we were watching it. <laughs> right. And, and if you pull this camera back, you'll see right in front of him is a big camera on a tripod right in front of his face. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so now we've got like several pro unfinished projects, Andrew. We've got the we chat have. log. We got this. Are we going to be taking a vote every week? What what we're going to go back uh, to? Well, I think um, maybe we should just continue and um, get this done. Uh, otherwise, we'll, we'll okay. just go off on other things. But yeah, we've we've got it's most of the material, if not all, that we've got planned. If you can call it material, material sounds like we've come up with original pieces of work but um 
is all lawn related. So that's kind of the reason why we decided it's to do this. It's going to be some funny shit, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, um, yeah, and that's just the chat log, you know. We've, we've worked out it would take, we would be, if we were going to finish the chat log at the current rate that we're doing it, we'd have to get through 150 videos and we're on 26. Yeah. I don't think so that's we'd... always a, that's always like a little side project that, because there's so many that's, more things that's we some want to side more, project. So. Yeah. If only we could, you know, if only we could make a living from this, we'd all be rich. You know what I mean? Yeah. Making a living <laughs> off YouTube, surely that doesn't happen. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's been it's been fun, hasn't it? It's been. I mean, I knew it was going to be funny. It's just, it's funny to try and speculate about his life because we're always i'm always interested no matter what predator it is really and there's a few minor exceptions what led them here you know what happened in their lives are they just out and out were they born a pervert like i think mcfetridge were or did they make some poor decisions i just find him kind of a <laughs> epitome of of how not to go through a midlife cri- midlife crisis, basically, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there were a lot of similarities with like, with these guys, and and one of the things about Lorna, and we talked about this before, is that <clears throat> he has all of them, all of the uh, the different methods, all into one man. Some people only take a little piece of this, a little piece of that. You know, like different methods that they use, but Lorne has them all. That's why he's a good central clearinghouse for all this shit to study that. Yeah, he's like. But Voltron. it's good that we're up, Lorne, though, because uh, I was listening to that uh, that video uh, that Raptor put out. Uh, you guys ever heard the uh, <clears throat> Lorne speaks to himself for three hours? And, and yes. I found myself, I, I found myself like, what the hell am I doing? I'm listening intently to some guy. <laughs> trying to wash the balls <laughs> in the shower jesus i had to check myself at that point enough is enough i think but, we've all had those oh, moments of realization where we're listening to a long call or whatever and we're going what the fuck am i actually doing and i remember yeah. listening to his stuff when i was in the gym like repeatedly like i have kind of my own one now but like when um when i was going to the local gym i'd have like i was like can you imagine the differences from what I'm listening to now and what other people have got on their headphones? You know what I mean? Probably like Rocky Four soundtrack, yeah. and I'm listening to fucking Lawn talk to some made-up <laughs> person, like just some freaking main. <laughs> you know? I've just fallen so... asleep listening to Lauren scream at Ramona more times than I can tell you. Yeah. I've definitely had those where I'm like, what <laughs> am I doing? Is it kind of explain those because they're they're funny, but how do you explain to someone who walks in and hears you you listen to a guy taking a shower? I mean, I can't even explain it here. <laughs> there is there is no <laughs> explaining funny. that. There's no explaining. There's nothing. Yes. <clears throat> anyway, um, thanks everybody in the chat. Thanks for joining us and thanks for participating in the vote I put out a couple of days ago. Just to um, you know, because we have to have a, a little bit of a discussion before we do something different, and it's been good fun. It is, it's nice to cover somebody else, and uh, this is definitely one of the more memorable uh, interviews. So we'll definitely be continuing it, um, hopefully next week. Uh, so leave any comments, please. If you're listening to this and you didn't participate in the live chat, please leave some comments in the uh, when the video comes back up. Um, let us know what you think, anything that we might have missed or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, thanks, everybody, who's um, joined us. Thank you to my very good friends here, Amanda James, Tiffany, and Shinsko Koala. It's, it's an absolute, absolute pleasure to have you here, so thank you very much.